What's up guys, it's Zach here from Metal Lab Mutt Homebrew. Um, I've been doing some kegerator upgrades recently and I thought why not spend a little bit of money and upgrade the old quick disconnects. Um, so what I've bought is the new kegland ones, which there's not a lot to say about them to be quite honest, but they're uh, a lot more streamlined. So as you can see, that's the old one. You've got the duotite fitting on there which screws on or off. If you compare it to the new one, quite a big difference in height. Um, in terms of what they do, they're exactly the same. Uh, it's just a quick disconnect for a corny keg. But the three main points to note on these are the physical size, so it's a lot shorter. So you're meant to be able to actually stack kegs. So if you've got like a larder fridge kegerator, you should be able to stack a couple of kegs on top of each other and get a few more in. The second point to note is on that one, the actual connection point is at about 45 degree angle. This one is at 90 degrees, which is a much better option in my opinion, because I found with the cables coming up like that, with the beer lines, it tends to put a lot of stress on them. And uh, the final thing to note is, again, that one has a screw-on duotite fitting. Whereas the new ones have it built in, so it's 90 degrees straight into a duotite fitting, which, which is great if you use the Kegland Eva barrier lines, the 8mm ones. Obviously, if you use barbed fittings or whatever, it's probably of no use to you, but for me, that works great. Uh, finally, they're exactly the same as the old ones, so it always used to be grey for gas and black for beer. I haven't got a black one on me at the moment. These are exactly the same, so black for beer on the main body, grey for gas. Not actually used them yet, but I can't imagine I'm going to have any problems with them, but that's about it really. So the physical size, the 90 degree angle, and the duotite fitting straight on there. So um, we'll see how we get on. Happy brewing!